It's going to be a big week for Valhalla, maybe the biggest week ever for the game. We now got confirmation that the update is coming this Tuesday, July 27th, with an unexpected and pretty big feature. We got some new Siege of Paris gameplay and more to go over, so if you are excited for the new Valhalla content, then totally leave a like on the video. And let's go. Christina won my previous Helix credit pack giveaway and now tweeted about it. And you can participate in my current one via the link in the mid comments. And you have to be a subscriber of the channel before you participate. And good luck. Okay, let's start with the announcement of level scaling coming to the game with that next patch. We will find it under difficulty. And that's because it will, of course, make the game more challenging. But also easier if you want. As you might know, for me, Valhalla is really the easiest game of the three components. Compared to Origins and Odyssey, well, now I can select Nightmarish and then likely encounter skill enemies in every region, which will totally make the game way harder. Like, that's my read on it. What we see in the menu is that this feature allows the choosing the level of scaling for territory and enemies to provide more balanced or challenging experiences. Every region in the game, of course, has a suggested power level. So if you turn the level scaling off, you can, as a, for example, level 300 power level Eivor, go to Grantabridge Shire and encounter level 20 enemies and completely wreck them. Well, right now, the enemies would always scale to your level so they would always kind of pose a challenge. I think the constant option is the same as it is right now and then harder will likely increase the power level of the enemies you encounter and then nightmarish will as I already speculated populate the world with these skull enemies you would also encounter when going to regions that are way above your current level. Like I fought a ton of these skill level enemies in my playthrough as I was trying to complete high level raids early on. It was totally harder as they deal more damage to you and your damage is actually lower against them. Like it was really fulfilling to complete these skill level regions early on. So having that experience back as a high power level player that out leveled every zone should be great. I never expected this and now I can't wait to try it out on July 27th and I also asked community manager Dom if this means that we get the one-handed sword on that day too. At which he replied saying that you will have to wait for the patch notes, it should give you a better idea on when and how. So it makes me think that the free one-handed sword we will get might come a bit later than the update releases Patch notes usually drop one day before the update goes live, so we will see them on July 26th. And I'll of course then immediately make a video telling you everything you need to know. We will then also learn more about the Sigurblot festival. Maybe that is where we get the sword. This festival is likely coming on the first day and maybe we learn the release date for the Siege of Paris DLC too. It's not August 5th. That date was leaked, but BPR Gaming noted in his video Link to his channel, of course, in the video description. That he asked Ubisoft, after which they said that August 5th is just a placeholder. So the DLC will likely launch later. When we know more, I'll be the first to tell you here on the channel. And yes, as I said in the intro as well, we got a small bit of new Siege of Paris gameplay shared on social media about the black box infiltration missions that are back now in the Siege of Paris DLC. You might remember them from Unity for example, meaning that you have multiple scripted ways which can lead to taking out one special target, like maybe overhearing a conversation or sealing a key from an NPC, finding a secret path, and then take out the targets marked by a quest icon. And we all see a special, I think, new icon from the looks of it, not sure what that is about. We see Eivor finish the job in the bronze version of the Raven Clan cloak, but in other parts, we actually see her use a new cloak that already got leaked by Andy Reloads, the Bellatore cloak. Like comparing the icon to what Eivor is wearing, we totally see that it's similar. And President Potting noted in a comment under my recent video that this is indeed a reskin of the Brigadine cloak. So yeah, we will be getting a purple version of this in the expansion. I'm curious if it will like have a special effect on it too. Eivor also gets the mission from a new character. I saw some people on Reddit speculate that this might be a hidden one. I'm 
Not sure myself, but your theory is of course more than welcome in the comments down below. He sure has a cool and interesting armor. Again, subscribe to miss nothing regarding the big week for Valhalla. Patch notes coming July 26th. We'll then have a video discussing that, followed by a big video going over all the changes you need to know about when the update is out. And then we're just getting started. So... Again, it's gonna be an awesome week. A like on the video would really help me out. And I want to thank everyone for the support and the kind words on the Siege of Paris trophy video that Joyce and Dennis did. Really cool to hear that you're like open for stuff like that. You can watch it by clicking on the screen. We'll talk more about like sort of what the idea behind that is in a future video. For now, I will speak to you next time. It's gonna be a cool week and goodbye.